no Facebook, no MSN, no MySpace, no texting, no calling, what would you do? Communication. How will this affect the new generation? With mobile phones, computers and the internet, the way in which people communicate has been revolutionised, and with it, the way we socialise. But is this necessarily a good thing? We interviewed a teacher to see what she thought. Have you seen a change in the language used to communicate since you grew up? Yeah, I have seen a change definitely since uh, in the way uh, language is used uh, since I've grown up. Um, I probably would say that it is about different time periods because you know media is different. There are different influences, uh, different trends that might influence language and the way people uh, speak. But I also think it's also a regional thing and also the impacts of different cultures as well. Have you noticed how young people are becoming more and more dependent on mobile phones and other electronic devices for communication? It's something I've definitely noticed that young people today certainly uh, rely on mobile phones and they're everywhere now. But I would actually argue as well that I think adults are very reliant on mobile phones as well. So do you have a phone? I do, yes. Yeah. Yes. 82 million text messages are sent each day in the UK. Do you think people use Facebook excessively and revolve their lives around it? Um, yeah, they use it too much I think, but I think it's become more of an everyday life. Like, a couple of years ago people might not have used it as much, but whereas now it's become more in, in their lives. Some people are a bit obsessed with it, which isn't really that good to be honest. I think people use Facebook too excessively. I think I do. Like people with blackberries, they always like update like every like two minutes. It's really annoying. So what do retailers think about all of this? Have you seen an increase in the amount of people buying mobile phones in the last five years? Yeah, yeah, we've seen a definite increase due to more demand. What kinds of people tend to buy mobile phones? There isn't really an age restriction. It's mostly just all ages that buy mobile phones. What do you think the effects of communication technologies such as mobile phones are on the way young people socialise? People tend to make less effort to go out due to the ease of phones communication. It's just easier for the people this way. Do you think this is a good thing? Uh, well, not really. If people aren't going out, they aren't getting obviously the fresh air that they need and all that. If they're just at home, you know, on their phones, obviously they'd be a lot healthier going outside and communicating that way. Coming now. Two hundred and ninety four billion emails are sent each day. Constant communication is part of our everyday lives, but is this a good thing? You decide. <laughs> <laughs>